Moving along, South Africa's net buying group has raised its non-interest revenue growth forecast after a successful first half. The bank's half-year profit increased by 8%, driven by reduced impairment charges and robust growth in non-interest revenue. Furthermore, headline earnings reached 7.9 billion rand for the six months ending June 13. Additionally, non-interest revenue also saw a 7% rise to 14.4 billion rand, surpassing the group's projected mid-single-digit growth. This growth was attributed to increased commissions and fees, a solid trading performance and higher equity investment income. Investment analyst Sitem Bile Bupila provides insights on Nedbank's latest financial results. So Nedbank delivered a resilient performance which was well guided for by management, although moderating growth across some of their key metrics did highlight the prevailing impact of financial strain on consumers due to the tight economic conditions. Nonetheless, robust non-interest revenue growth a low impairment charge, losses associated with loan defaults, as well as tight cost control carry through to a well-received bottom line beat on consensus expectations, which was a highlight overall. Top line growth slowed against a stronger base with advances growth moderating, again, consumer pressure hurting the numbers there, but also cautious loan demand from corporates, especially leading up to the elections. Uh, so I do think with, you know, the well-received outcome of the elections followed by an uptick in sentiment is likely to drive an improvement in average book growth going forward. The net interest margin, which is essentially the difference between what a bank earns on its loans compared to what it pays its depositors, that saw a contraction as expected. And that's mainly due to the benefits of the high interest uh, environment being offset by pricing pressure. The bank remains well capitalized and the balance sheet does remain strong and that we did see supports that 11.5% increase, increase in the dividend year on year. Management's outlook does appear cautiously optimistic. I think with the strong first half performance coupled with you know the strategic progress that they've done so far or rather that they've made so far, as well as the expected macro improvements in the second half likely to be supportive of them meeting their medium term targets.